Today, I'm very happy to be here to share our recent work. Um, this is regarding jailbreak threats of large language models. So, adversarial manipulation of machine learning systems has been a long lasting problem in security. It widely exists in almost all ML models across diverse modalities, including images and speech. But with the arrival of large language models, adversarial manipulation has become much easier than ever. Due to the direct interaction between humans and machines via natural languages, humans can develop a series of semantic strategies to deceive the model. The figure here shows the high-level idea of jailbreaking. If the attacker directly asks for instructions for malicious activities, such as hacking the official website of Usenix security, then it will be rejected by ChatGPT due to the existence of alignment and guardrails. But if we construct a scenario and convince the LLM to disregard the guardrails, then it could generate such harmful instructions for us. So such a prompt is known as jailbreak prompt. Unlike adversarial noises that generally appear meaningless to humans, these jailbreak prompts are semantically meaningful to humans. This uniqueness in human interactions has therefore inspired wide interest from communities. So our study builds on top of our insight of human interactions and asks the following research questions. Question one, what are jailbreak strategies and how do they work? Question two, how do humans develop and execute jailbreak attacks? And question three, how to automate the process of jailbreaking? Now let's take a look at the first research question regarding existing jailbreak methods. In order to answer the first question empirically, our investigation takes four steps. We first automatically scrape existing jailbreak prompts from the wild and uh, systemize them following a thematic coding process. Then we examine their effectiveness with our proposed um, quantification metrics. And during this process, we discover several jailbreak prompt patterns that are universally effective against different commercial LLMs. To understand what makes them so powerful, we conduct the ablation studies to examine their key contributing components. So in this work, our definition of jailbreaking, uh, potentially biased definition, is a type of manipulation of input prompts to bypass the built-in defenses posed by the developers. Then it naturally introduced two questions. What makes a policy violation? And how do we conceptualize harm? So it shows that the hard problem here is how to quantify the harmfulness and the jailbreak success, since they are very context dependent. To concretize this concept, we refer to the official usage policies of OpenAI and Google, which describe the prohibited content, such as misinformation and illegal activities. For quantification, we propose two metrics to measure jailbreak success and harmfulness and the illicit responses. Inspired by other studies in benchmarking LLMs, our key idea is that we feed those prompts into LLMs and obtain their responses. And then we use humans to manually annotate them with scores based on their level of detail or information. So intuitively, these two metrics assesses the worst case harmfulness and the general capability of bypassing built-in defenses respectively. So using this collected data set, we also systemized and extracted the uh, um, common um, jailbreak patterns. Um, and from a high level, they generally fall into disguised intent, role play, structured response, virtual AI simulation, and even a combination of these strategies. And as it turned out, we found that while built-in defenses have been continuously updated, existing jailbreak prompts are still effective against the commercial models. We also conducted a series of parametric and non-parametric tests, such as Pearson tests, Spearman, and Candle tests, and concluded that jailbreak success is positively correlated with prompt length. So this means that longer and uh, more complex prompts are potentially more likely to trick LLMs, possibly due to their rich context to confuse the model. And the second part of our study is to explore the human factors in the jailbreaking process. This is inspired from our observation that jailbreaking LLMs is a human-in-the-loop process, right? 
To gain a better understanding, we conducted user studies involving 92 participants from diverse backgrounds. To investigate the impact factors that contribute to the human job risk success, these participants were grouped based on their prior knowledge and whether they are given the access to an external LLM for assistance. So for all these groups, they are given the same task to jailbreak GPT-3 to create fake news. And the success of their jailbreak tens are quantified using our previously mentioned metrics. So we found that while expert participants are generally achieved higher success, we found that even novice participants could create successful jailbreak prompts within reasonable attempts. And surprisingly, some of these strategies are not even discovered before. Another observation is that um, there's no statistically significant difference between the means of the human group and the HAC group. This does not mean that external AI is useless um, in helping jailbreaking. Conversely, it means that successful jailbreaking do not have to heavily rely on AI assistance. This also aligns with our observation that participants without external AI also achieved substantial success in eliciting detailed responses. However, we do find individual cases where AI assistance can be super helpful, for example, when used for prompt engineering or find excuses to disguise the malicious intents. And more importantly, we also identify certain um, behavior patterns when humans continuously update their prompts. For example, novice participants generally begin with a direct query with the malicious questions, followed by minimal mutations to the prompt. Conversely, users with prior experience tend to mimic existing jailbreak strategies based on their understanding. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, let's see how we can do this. Yeah, right. I think we're just about uh, we're just talking about the behavior patterns. Um, so, um, in continuation uh, with what I'm talking about, um, so with the aid of external large language model, users could use them for prompt engineering or use it to directly compete with the target large language model. We found that the insights could be used to enhance defenses, such as incorporating long-term user profiling and temporal patterns within a short time. And at last, our comparison groups show the vast potential of using AI models to assist the jailbreaking. This also inspired our thinking to fully automate the attack process by involving AI as agents. So this leads to our uh, last part or third part of the study, that is automating the jailbreak process. Um, the previous presentation of fuzzing LLMs is awesome. And here I will just describe our key um, ingredients of our framework. So in essence, um, the creation of jailbreak prompts can be regarded as an optimization problem. But um, jailbreaking is unique because the things we are optimizing are discrete tokens. And the loss function can no longer, no longer rely on human efforts. So our framework um, address these challenges um, by using three fun foundational components. The first is the transformation of the prompt candidates. Um, so these transformations are guided by the powerful contributing components of our previously discovered universal prompts. The second is the automatic evaluation of jailbreak effect effectiveness. Um, in order to fully eliminate the need for human annotation, we tune another large language model that has served as a score rater um, on the responses. This framework was also experimentally evaluated, and we found that it could transform over 95% of previously failed attempts into successful jailbreak prompts. So in summary, large language model safety and or security is definitely an important topic that needs continued efforts. To facilitate research in this field, we have open source all of our code, all the prompts, and associated LM responses and human annotations. Thank you. <laughs>